Hey everyone, welcome to this update of Ryan's Tools, version 1.3. 1.3, got some new goodies for you, some bug fixes under the hood, so let's get into it. Uh, right off the bat, let's see, we've got three new primitives up here in Easy Primitives. So we've got a Taurus Knot, pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to deal with. We've also got a high-res plane. So it's just a plane, but it's been subdivided a bunch of times. That makes it really useful for making vector displacement maps, You know, using it as a template for that. ZBrush has a template built in, but it's in a project. So when you open the project, it closes all of your subtools and tools you've got open. That's not helpful. So this just lets you drop one right into your existing scene. Uh, it's also really useful if you want to make shapes that are based on 2D extrusions. So just go ahead and paint that mask and then cut it out and you've got a new shape to work with. And we've also got a new sphere. It's a sphere just like I had before except its topology is uh, based on a pole rather than the sphere that was already built in which is more like this which is better for sculpting but sometimes I need a sphere with a pole. Okay so let's look at some of the new features. Uh, some pretty simple stuff. Uh, we've got save cam. Now this is just like the store cam button in the new version of ZBrush 2019 where they let you save cameras. Uh, the one difference with this being that it works if your model is not in perspective mode. So we've got perspective turned off, so we've got an orthographic view. And let's say we want to save this camera view. So we'd go up to draw and store cam and it gives us this warning tell, telling us that perspective mode must be turned on. Well that's not fun. So I just made the save cam button that lets you save it anyway. And basically what it's doing is it's turning perspective mode on for you, but it's going into draw and it's just cranking that focal length all the way up so high that it's basically for all intents and purposes an orthographic camera. So it just lets you save your camera with no hassle. So dynamic brush size really likes subtools that are about two units big, that, roughly in that ballpark. Uh, but subtools that are significantly larger or smaller than that cause problems, and and the brush doesn't really want to get that big, or it has trouble getting that big. So uh, what I did is I made this button that uh, sort of compensates for that. So let's say we've got a subtool that's significantly larger than uh, two units. It's a pretty big one. So we could go and change our draw size. You can see it's really small here. Um, but you can see it just, we maxed it out and it's still not nearly big enough to work with this. So this is a problem. And uh, the way I fixed it is with this Dyne brush size button. So just simply click that. And now the brush size is uh, calibrated to the size of the model. So now you get nice range here and now unfortunately ZBrush doesn't just do this under the hood for us we have to do this manually but it should be a little bit easier now with this button okay thanks for watching I'm really excited about this release go ahead and click the download link in the description below now I'm giving this away for free as always but please leave a donation if you can okay enjoy and please leave a comment below as well let me know what you think thanks a lot